Greetings, I'm Undone Builder. And before we start this video, I'd like to apologize for the long amount of time it's been since I posted my last video. I simply don't have anything to post videos on that I think would be beneficial for you guys. I've published all the knowledge that I had in mind, and most other minor topics are covered by other YouTubers, and I don't just want to make videos that will waste your time. So if you have a topic you think you'd like to be covered, send me a friend request on Discord, Undone Builder 1933 and I'll accept it, and perhaps you have an idea of something you'd like to see done. And without further ado, the video. So a friend came to me with a request on a video to make, and they were having issues with the Roblox collisions. For example, when you negate a part right out of the middle of another one, Roblox doesn't quite make the collision box correct, and as you can see, you end up just floating over a hole that you're supposed to fall into. So the reason Roblox does that, as I'll show you with my very complex illustration here, is this black piece being the part. Roblox to save space and time in their system, instead of making the collision box go exactly in line with the actual object, it takes a shortcut and just cuts it straight across an area in space where it probably shouldn't be. Now, sometimes this is okay. In some builds, it can save space on your computer and make run, Roblox run a lot better. In some cases, it can be extremely annoying. So there's no good way to get around this, but the best way I've found is if you split, in this case, if we were to split this part in half to try and force Roblox to do this a little bit better. So we'll just take two parts. We'll Put them right down the middle of this, and we'll duplicate this union right here. Now we'll take one of them and union one side, and take the other side, union that. Now we've split this into two parts. And as you can see, now when we go to test it, the collision box is slightly better. It's not perfect. And so basically the more times you do this, like if you were to cut it this way, again, that would make it a little bit better. And the more times you cut it, the more refined the robot Roblox collision box will be. You can do that until you're satisfied with how it works. Unfortunately for now there's no better way to do it, but overall I'd say that works. I hope this has been useful to you. Until next time.